is. So I'd like to run through some very general concepts that apply to Kamakadisha. Kavod uh, what is Kavod Hames? Kavod is the recognition that this person was a Jew, and therefore we treat them with those traditions that we have handed down from generation to generation, really for probably a thousand years. Certainly the first Tahara was recorded was the Tahara of Hillel Hazoke, which goes back 2,000 years, it was slightly different, but in general terms it was the same, a little bit more of washing. In fact, there was a much greater emphasis on washing, maybe because people didn't shower that much in those days, I'm not sure. But whatever it was, there were like 11 rechitzas, with soap, without soap, they rinsed, they rinsed again, and it's fascinating. But the point is that it has been almost the same Tahara process throughout the centuries. But Kavar Ames is extremely important to understand that it's not a subjective cover. It's not what I think is greater cover that I would like for me, or that I think would be best for them, but it's what has been transmitted from generation to generation and every one of the minhagim, every one of the traditions that we follow has a source, a very meaningful source. We don't always know the full spectrum, the, all the reasons behind a particular minhag, but we know that a minhag Yisrael has a great deal of meaning and depth, and therefore we're extremely careful not to change it. Um, sometimes we, the more we look into it, the more we learn about a particular minhag, and they all have meaning. And the more I have spent time looking at specific minhagim, the more educated I became about what Kavad HaMais means. So uh, it's really fascinating, but therefore we are extremely careful not to change anything. And even in a situation where we must change things, because the person is in a condition where we can't do what we typically do. That too is Minhag Yisrael. That is the way it was done a thousand years ago or 500 years ago when a similar situation existed. So there is a Minhag, there is a tradition for everything that we do. I hear sometimes the funeral director say to me, Rabbi, they don't need a tower, the body's decomposed. To me, I think it's the reverse. The body is decomposed. That's almost more reason why the Kavar Kedisha should be involved, because if they were not involved, all kinds of things might be done that would really be very, very contrary to what Kavar Hamas is meant to be. So it's uh, it, it's important to understand that that everything comes from our tradition, and nothing is subjective. It's not what we feel or someone else feels. Uh, is the best way to do it, or the most appropriate way to do it, or the most respectful way to do it.